Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Booth Western Art Museum. I'm Seth Hopkins, the director, for those of you I haven't met yet. We're so pleased so many of you would come out tonight for uh, what really is one of the most exciting nights in the five years that we've been here with the Booth Western Art Museum. We have five different new exhibits that we've put up over the last uh, few weeks that we are officially uh, opening tonight. And this is the largest number of artists that we have ever had in the building at any one time. So uh, give yourselves a round of applause for being involved in a historic event. Those of you just coming in, don't be shy. Come on down. There's plenty of room in the front couple of rows. As I always do, I just want to uh, draw your attention to a few uh, upcoming events we have here at the Booth Western Art Museum. Um, our next lecture in our Thursday evening lecture series will be next Thursday night, the 17th. Dr. Daniel Sachs, a professor of American Art History at Kennesaw State University, one of my former professors and a professor of a couple other people here on staff will be here. And he will not be doing a boring art history lecture. He will be doing an exciting art history lecture. What he will actually be doing is uh, taking uh, classic Western paintings from the 1800s by people like Moran and Bierstadt and Remington and Russell and comparing those to some of the uh, masterworks we have by living artists here in the Booth Collection. And I'm very interested to see what he's picked. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting. So that'll be 7 p.m. Uh, next Thursday evening, the 17th. We hope you'll come back and join us. Our next Art for Lunch, which we always do on the first Wednesday of every month, that'll be uh, the first Wednesday in February. Our good friends Linda and Eric Sermon, uh, because of our Pueblo pottery exhibit that we have here in the museum that we're very pleased to have, um, they will be talking about Pueblo pottery from their collection. Uh, they have loaned artwork to the museum on a couple of different occasions and really have a wonderful collection and uh, have traveled all throughout New Mexico and the different Pueblos. And uh, if you're interested in that all, I think you'll really enjoy it. That's 12:15, the first Wednesday in February. I hope you've enjoyed all the exhibits that we have open for you here tonight in our Borderlands Gallery, the wonderful paintings by Lynn Friedman, the terrific Pueblo pottery from uh, Alvina Yepa. We are uh, very pleased, uh, a, a private collector who uh, has loaned most of those works. Uh, there are a couple that are available for purchase if you're interested. Uh, most of Lynn's works are also available for purchase. So if you're interested, uh, talk to somebody on staff or talk directly to the artists. Also, we uh, have a wonderful exhibit of uh, illustrated letters and envelopes by Alan Napolitano. Uh, you have to really look for those. They're kind of down the hall going to the uh, kids' gallery. But uh, one of our collectors uh, that's a member of the museum out in Texas, a gentleman named Bill Zigrang, has had an ongoing relationship with Al for many years and uh, has collected these uh, illustrated letters and envelopes that they've traded in the mail. I say it's pretty funny. If my mailman had gotten something like that coming to my house, I don't think it ever would have got there. But uh, those are pretty cool. We've enjoyed having those. Um, just just this week, we opened the exhibit uh, here in the uh, theater lobby gallery of Paul and Chris Cowley's work. Paul is one of the great uh, pencil artists in the world today and uh, does wonderful mountain man. His son, Chris, as you see from the exhibit, is following in his footsteps. That is all from a private collection in Massachusetts, a uh, collector we've gotten to know over the last little bit and are very excited to have those pieces here. They will be the featured artists for our Southeastern Cowboy Gathering in March. And so Paul and Chris will be coming to join us at that time. And then, of course, the reason we're here tonight, uh, all these wonderful artists from all across the country that we're so pleased have come and join us as part of the 21st Century Regionalist Artists of the New West. Give them a round of applause, please. Work on that exhibition began three years ago when our then curator James Burns had the idea that uh, he really thought he saw a theme emerging uh, among a, a, a group of different artists who really had nothing to do with each other, didn't live near each other, in most cases, I don't think even knew each other, but saw something that he thought was a common thread, and that was artists working in a contemporary motif, but having a rooted vision um, similar to those of the 20s and 30s regionalist artists like Thomas Hart Benton, Grant Wood, and others, and the Taos and Santa Fe art colonies, and thought this might be an interesting exhibition. After pouring through over 100 artist portfolios and contacting artists, uh, we wound up with the 14 artists that are here on display tonight. In the meantime, uh, James decided he wanted to move back home which was a real loss for us here at the booth. Um, he is now living back in Tempe, Arizona, and we had to uh, tell him he could only leave on one uh, condition, and that was he would continue to see this project through. Uh, Jeff Donaldson, our new curator, has stepped in and uh, admirably helped pick up the pieces here and uh, coordinate the installation and the other things that had to go on here on, on site. But uh, James has continued on to finish the project and uh, produced a wonderful gallery guide 
um, that we have available up in the uh, galleries. Um, just a hint, this may be valuable one day. You may want to grab one of these and get uh, all nine of these artists that are here tonight to uh, sign it before they get out of here tonight. Um, you might be glad you did that 20 or 30 years from now. Um, speaking of books, uh, one of the artists here tonight, Rebecca Toby, does have a book that she's recently released on her artwork and that of her husband, Gene, who unfortunately we lost uh, just within the last year, and is a wonderful uh, memorial to their work that they did together and her continuing work that she is doing. And uh, we do have copies of that in the store if you'd like one, and uh, those will be available for purchase. I'm going to invite James up to uh, talk a little bit about uh, his premise for this exhibit. Uh, so the artists that were not able to join us, all of them wanted to be here, um, but some of them could not. And then uh, he'll introduce each of the other artists that are here. Let me remind you, the galleries will remain open until 9 p.m. So I encourage you, after you've heard these artists talk about their work, head back up there, check it out a second time. Uh, look for things that you may have missed or may find more enjoyment after hearing their comments. And uh, do seek out the other exhibits if you haven't seen those uh, tonight as well. So thank Thank you for coming and please welcome back to the Booth Western Art Museum, Mr. James Burns. Well, thank you, Seth, and thank you to all of the artists who were able to join us tonight. I am thrilled by the turnout and I have to say, I'm a little overwhelmed by the numbers in the audience. I think this may be the most people we've ever had in an, at an opening before. So that's, that's pretty gratifying. So thank you again for joining us. And as Seth said, I'm just gonna kind of um, provide a context for you for this exhibition in the next 15 minutes. And I thought it would really be interesting for you to have an opportunity to hear some of the stories directly from these artists. Um, even though I've done probably close to a half a dozen articles the catalog, the text panels, the interpretive labels, there's just no way that you can fit all of those stories um, into that amount of space. So we're gonna have a chance to hear from them directly and um, hopefully they all got my emails with the question they're being asked and we won't totally be surprising them. But they're not too hard, so no worries. Um, they were worried for a few weeks when they figured out they were going to be on stage, but they hadn't heard from me yet what they were going to be doing. <laughs> so, um, again, first you'll just see some images that um, show the gallery installation, and we're going to weave those in with uh, pieces by the five artists who weren't able to join us. And then when we have the artists speak, you'll see a couple of images of the works that they have in the show behind them on the screen.